been a couple days since we filmed. Last week we filmed quite a bit. Spry, sit down. Last last week we filmed quite a few, three or four of them. And we're, this is a Monday and we're coming off of a weekend. Um, I didn't do any retrieving with any of the dogs this weekend intentionally. Um, I did have them with me uh, most of the time. I was working a lot outside. We got some snow here in the last 24 hours. Woke up, it was all white. Now it's melting and it's real wet. Um, gonna be wet for a while here, but uh, we got a good snowstorm north of here and we just got the kind of the tail end of it, but we did get a couple inches. Um, but the weekend was really nice weather. It was t-shirts and, and sunny and dry. So um, I worked outside on, on different projects and I had the dogs with me quite a bit and I just had them sitting remote. Um, it was nothing, I didn't put anything on them from a training standpoint, like tackling anything new, making doing anything that we had been doing. It was more just be with me, under control. Um, I did do some walking with them where I let them kind of free quarter and cast a little bit. Bella actually, down the driveway, kind of became um, a note that I made in my head. We were walking down to the shop and a rooster pheasant came across the road and ran into the cover. She l took off, um, tracked and trailed him through. Um, I was not gonna be able to call her off. I didn't even try to. Um, but it, what it told me was I need to train in much more tempting situations with birds with her. I need to start because I have to be able to, if it were any other dog, I would have been able to stop, stop them right then. And I actually had a whistle on and I would have been able to just peep the whistle, stop them, call them back to me and not let them run wild. I wasn't gonna be able to do that. So I didn't want to get on her real hard and turn her off the idea. I don't know that that even would have worked. Um, one thing about her is she's got an extremely high drive when it comes to bird, pursuit of birds. She loves it. Um, and she did a really nice job. She actually worked through this brush line and flushed the rooster on the other side. So I need, I need, I made a mental note of that. That's something that we're going to have to work on. It'll take a controlled setting for me to be able to do it, but it's on a totally different note. What we're going to continue to do today here is sit down. I've got Spry and I've got Ellie and I'm going to work two sessions today. One of them is going to be working these other two dogs and Bella's going to watch similar to what we did last week. Then we're going to move over to the spot where we were working with Bella and I'll let her do some things. So it's going to be kind of a two part session. Um, part with the other dogs, part without. It's 100% a session for Bella. It's just working on not being a part of the session. What I'm going to try to do is get some good stuff out of Spry and Ellie. And so what we're doing is replicating what we did last week over there with the um, horse fence, with the pushing the dog through the line of cover and there's some water and stuff. Um, I'm going to replicate it here, which I've got kind of a, a wall with this brush line and this kind of strip of grass here. And so I'm not going to make it real big heel. Uh, it doesn't need to be for this. So what I wanted to do was I want to stop them and have them go left right or back based on, and so now that I'm thinking about that, I think what I'll do is instead of doing this drill, it's a little bit soggy, but I'm gonna set it up with these guys and I'm just gonna do kind of a little simple walking, walking baseball drill. Sit. Now we did this drill in detail. If you wanna see this drill now while you're, while you're watching this, um, what I'm gonna do is two dogs at a time will have to watch. I'll work one at a time on the actual drill. But what we we're going to do is, um, if you want to go back, there's a series on YouTube called Cody Go Back. And we do this drill with her. That was a, d a drill that we started a dog that had never had hand signals. And we did hand signals with her a dog named Cody, really nice dog, Ellie Heel. So these two are going to watch Ellie Heel. And we're going to do this. I'm going to set this up as best I can in this situation because We've got so much water here. Heel. I'm gonna pitch that one out. Heel. And the key, Ben, is gonna be, if you can, keep those dogs in frame as best you can. So you might have to back up a little bit. So we'd put one out. And this will be a, this will be a nice test for these guys because she's gonna run past them. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to slow everything down. Ah, 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 ah. 
So Bella's getting distracted already just because nothing's really going on. Ellie. And look at Vela right now. Sit. Sit. So we pitch that out about 90 degrees to her. Go back. A little easier if we had bright. No! Here. 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 Right here. Now you can see she just caught wind of it. Here. Sit. This drill would be better set up. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. This drill would be better set up with bright dummies that stood out. You can see that she ran right past that one. It's hard to see. Be easier if this was green grass and we used white dummies. Right now, if you use a white dummy, it would kind of blend in. You use a green one, it kind of blends in. An orange one, they all kind of blend in. Now, Ellie ran past it, hunted past. She remembered that one and went to it and I stopped her and said, no, this is not a baseball drill. Like this isn't helping us at all with that. It's just a control thing and that's okay. Um, and it's doing a nice job of having these guys pay attention, and I'm pretty happy with that right now. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna send her back. Now, I do think she'll run right to it now because she caught wind of the dummy and went to it. But I stopped her and I wasn't gonna let her succeed on her own. We're gonna to succeed together. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. No! She's very confused right now. Heel. Sit. I'm gonna shrink everything up. I'm gonna come right here and help her. So Ellie right now is second guessing. What do you want me to really do? I know there's one over here. Look at her body language right now. Look at her face. Look at her whole, she's crunched up. She's real confused. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help her. Instead of asking her to move off of that sitting position, I'm gonna loosen her up. I'm gonna let her break free a little bit. I'm gonna recall her. I'm gonna let her take, she's gonna take it very cautiously. She'll cautiously take a couple steps to me. At least I'll break the wheels loose. I'm gonna bring her to me. I'm gonna stop her and I'm gonna send her back. And instead of her sending her back with the left hand, which the left hand could be confusing, she might get a left-handed cast. I'm gonna send her with the right. That way she doesn't even think about that one. It takes away one reason for her to think about that dummy. Good, here, right here, good. Go back, good, go back, good. See how she, good. Good. See how she thought about it? Good, we reinforced it with a good right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Don't you slide by, hold, sit. And I'm real happy with those two. Sit right here. Come on. Sit. Ellie's real excited right now, so we're gonna use our tone to either put the fire down a little bit or bring it up. A minute ago, I needed to bring it up dead. I needed to bring it up because she was really second guessing everything. Now, again, this is not, we are gonna do a walking baseball type drill or not. And remember, I still got one over here. Good. So same thing. We're gonna send her out. Make sure you can see those dogs, Ben. Because this is the tempting part for those dogs. So we're not really, we are kind of trying to get something out of this with Ellie. I'm gonna, we'll gain something out of it with her. She's not my focus right now. Bella over there is. Spry, I'm not so worried about. If you watch Spry, she's not going anywhere. Ellie. And there's a ton of hesitation. Never would I see that with Ellie. She just, she's usually, boom, blow the doors out. 
So she's hesitant because she's going, I'm not exactly sure what the heck we're doing. We don't typically set up a drill this way with dogs sitting there with, it's just, it's not the way we would normally set it up. But I got to get her to function through that because maybe it's, maybe it looks different than what it normally does. Ellie. And so I'm not going to stop her on the whistle on this one either. We're going to let her run through it. Now she's way long. That's right where it was. Good. Good. Come on. Good. I'm going to be careful not to get in the recall whistle because I don't want to get Bella excited. Here. Right here. Hold. Hold. Right here. We're going to clean that up too. I don't like her moving by me like that. Sit. Sit. Dead. Dead. So that time we got, we let her go through. Sit down. When I say we let her go through, I say we sent her through, we didn't stop her on a whistle. Heel. Because I don't want her hesitating. You notice that last the time before I sent her, she took three steps and stopped and turned around. Now I wouldn't call that, I don't think she was really popping, but you will see a dog if you, if you just run this drill and you stop them and you stop them, you stop them, you stop them every time before you send them to it, they get out about halfway and they turn around and they go, go ahead. Stop, the, stop me, send me back. So I don't want to ever get her popping like that. Taylor gets like that a little bit. Taylor gets a little bit to the point where she, she knows better, but she's just kind of lazy and likes to get that help. I don't mind good teamwork. I don't want dogs becoming joystick dogs where you have to handle them to every little thing. They should have some independence as well. So it's a fine line. This time I'm going to stop her and I'm going to send her back. Ellie. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Go back. Good. Good. Again, she runs past it. Hard to see that down here. I should put a different color out there. I certainly don't mind her hunting deep. Quiet when she leaves the area. Good. Good dog. Has a lot of, lot of temptation for those dogs that she's running by. Here, 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 here. Right here. Right here. I don't like that looking away. Dead. And we gotta fix that. And I've just allowed it to happen for too long. Now, let's just reverse it. Go up and over the top. She watches it. Good. Again, not really having any type of set thing that I want to do with Ellie. Other than we'll work a little bit of different opportunities here, kind of impromptu and getting the chance for these two to watch. Ellie, good. Good. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Good. Overruns it again, that's all right. Let her work back. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Great job by Bella. Good. Right here. Hold. Hold. Dead. Good. Sit. Sit. Real nice job from Bella. I would say even as short of a time period of like a week ago, I don't know that we could have done this, but we've put a ton of time into having her watch these other dogs. Now, I'm going to do a white dummy on green grass. 
I am going to have her have to run across this white snow, which could create a little bit of an issue, or you know, it might make it a little bit harder. But I'm going to try to put this bright, brighter white dummy into a green area. If all the snow had been melted, that would that'd be the easiest. Now that last time, I I kind of almost screwed that up. I handled her back and you could see she was hesitant. She keeps looking out at that one because she remembers that one. And so she's anticipating a, a handle to the left or right. This time it would be a right. And I sent her back using my right hand. So that right hand kind of gave her an option and made her think possibly going that way. And she spun and went back and I, I stopped her because I felt like she faded a little bit to the right and I thought maybe she was going to go right. I should have let her spin and finish. Bella, sit. Bella, sit. Sit down. And that's just a subtle difference between Spry and Bella. Right now, Spry has been completely focused on me. That's a huge difference between those two. Spry has been dialed with me. Bella's sniffing grass, standing up, just, hey, 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 hey. It's a difference in focus. A lot has to do with their age. Ellie. Good. Much different when, you can, when she can see it standing out like that. And I liked how she ran right through, no hesitation. Dead. Heel. Gonna come back. So now what we've done is, I don't know how many we've done, but we've gone back and forth two or three times that way and twice this way. So I've got five times now where she's been either handled back or sent through. And I think I've handled her back maybe two out of five something like that. So that time she ran through really strong. No, no hesitation. She didn't slow down. She didn't. So this time what I'm going to do now, I visually want to see where that dummy is because I do want to stop her at like a 90 degree. So I'm looking out over there right now and I'm going, I don't know that I even see the dummy. Ben, do you see the dummy? What color is it? Is it in a puddle, kind of? Yeah, right in a puddle. Okay. So I gotta look at this and I gotta get, okay, I'm straight out there and I understand where that is. So I wanna stop her about night, I wanna stop her in line with it. So as I look over here, there's a little crest and then there's a puddle and I think it's like right just this side of the puddle would be about 90 degrees. So I'm gonna, I gotta, what I gotta do is I gotta be able to anticipate her stop. So I gotta be able to anticipate her pace slowing down, turning, and looking to me. She has a tendency to spin to the right. So this cast to the left will be awkward for her. If it's too awkward, I'll recall her, get her to square up, and send her. Ellie. Get out. Good. There she caught wind. Good dog. Very good. That one was in a puddle. So she handled that real nice. Good. Dead. Good. 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 This time we're gonna add a little bit for those guys. I'm gonna send her out to pick this dummy, stop her on the whistle. I'm gonna throw one up over the top of them. Let her watch it. Let her understand that we're not going to send her out to it. We're going to go back. So this is just a diversion. This is something that we haven't done a lot with uh, Bella on. And I just, I just kind of recognized that this last weekend is, or I got to, I need to start incorporating some diversions for her. We really haven't done much with it. This will be what we want her to do. Ellie. Go back. Good. Good. 
And that just adds a little bit for Bella over there, right here. Hold. To work through. Good. Sit. Sit. And so the last one that we throw here, I just go pick it up. Good. So I'm pretty satisfied with these two guys. Now, they're out of the they're out of the picture a little bit. You know, I mean they're we are running a dog past them, but we've created a little bit of distance. Sometimes that distance helps to separate them. It's a little less tempting. Sometimes it helps to be a little bit closer. As you get further away, sometimes she would have a tendency to kind of go, well, he's not really here anymore. I can kind of do what I want. So you have to gauge how far away you can get and maintain the control. You got to gauge how close you can get and maintain the control. Let's just try it here a little bit closer. Sit down, sit down. And I'm going to shrink it all together. Ellie, Ellie here. So I'm going to bring Ellie, I'll switch these dogs. Ellie, come on. Bella, sit. Ellie, Ellie, come on. Right here, sit. Spry heel. And so, again, balancing the distance of where we're at. Sit down. So now we're a little bit closer, which could create a little more temptation. We're gonna run a dog pretty fast, surprise fast, and she's gonna go out really quickly. She'll probably come back slow. She always does. But she's gonna run by, right by these guys, and I, I don't have an issue with Ellie. I don't see any issue with Ellie. It's Bella that's gonna to have to resist this temptation. Spry. You can see we're not used to making such a short retrieve there either. I want to let her work it out. So her, it's interesting how her mind works. She goes, I have this, I'm not going to find anything in the open. I got to go find cover. I got to go deeper. I've done that on purpose. Now, a lot of times they don't want to come back. They think you're turning them off. Good, good. So watch this next one. She's real surprised at how short that was. Sit, sit. And so it's interesting how she worked out far. I'm not surprised at that much at all. A lot of times I stopped her to the whistle. She responded nice to that. I recalled her to me. She did well with that. A lot of times those dogs don't want to come back. That's, I see that occasionally where they, you stop them out there and you recall them and they go, oh no. Because what happens when they get way loose and I got to kind of reset something. When I say way loose, way loose, it, whatever the drill is, it went to hell. So I got to kind of reset it. I either have to go get them if they're not listening to me or I have to call them back to me. Stop them, call them back, regroup, reset something up, throw another dummy, take line, change something with my line, whatever I got to do. But a lot of times, that's the only time we do that, where they're out there in the field hunting and then I stop them and I say, come back. And a lot of times it's not in the best, it's not because of a good thing, it's because things are going bad. And so they're reluctant to come back sometimes. So stopped her and she went, and you could see she was real poised, she was real ready, she was going, help me out. I love how her tail works, she almost looks like she holds point when she's out there. Her tail just twitches and she gets real staunch and she looks like a pointing dog to me sometimes when I stop her on the whistle. And so that's what she looked like there and that's what she did. She stood there and looked and waited and I think she was anticipating me going back right or left to help her get closer. And instead I said beep, 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 beep and she, and she had to come to me. She did it but a lot of times I see him go disappointed and I got to go back in and I go in real slow. Now I called her to me and I was fumbling around with my whistle because I didn't have it in my mouth. I should have stopped her as soon as she got, or just before she got downwind. If I had stopped her and said, 
hunt the hunt the area, hunt the area. Now I finally, by the time I got my whistle and she was on the dummy, she heard the whistle, she looked up, heard the hunt whistle, pick it up, and bring it back. So heel. Now let's see how she does on this one. She just picked that one short. I know, I know sometimes, like Ellie did, ran, ah, 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 sit down. I know sometimes they run right past because of the habit that's been put into them, but eventually they kind of learn that, you know what, it might have to be real short here too, Spry. Good. Good. Right here. Right here. Good. Dead. Now, another real short one. Heel. We're gonna do another diversion. So this, the hard, the difficult part for spy, and this one that I need to make sure I do a good job of is, sometimes as these dogs get close to the dummy, the whistle all of a sudden they don't hear it. Well, I think there's a fine line between handling them the right way and having the ability to have enough control to really ha have them work with you. I don't think it's fair sometimes to put them right on top of a dummy and expect them to, to call off on the whistle. Um, I want to work towards that. Right now I'm not gonna get upset at her if she isn't because we just don't do this that often. But I, it's a fine line of figuring out where the power of the whistle is. Let's try. Good. Go back. That's awful close for her. Sit. Good. No, 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 no. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Very good. A little switching. Good dog. Good girl. Good. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Did. Good. A little bit of switching there. It's a drill I want to do with her. Um, we'll do it with Bella too. Something I need to do with her. When I've got too many dummies too close together, I don't want her picking and shopping. So what we're going to do is, and we'll do it with Bella too because we need to start and we can do it with all of them actually. We'll place a bunch of bumpers out in an area. We'll send her to pick one up. Sit down, sit down, sit down. My concern right now is what we're asking a bell is getting a little long. Sit. So we're just gonna reset her here. But I'm gonna send Spry for a dummy. And if she picks it up clean and brings it back to me, good. If she goes to noses one and then decides to go to the other one, I'm gonna get on her like I just did. And I'm gonna make her pick up that first dummy. Spry. Good, here, good. So no switch there. She's gonna to have to make a mistake to understand the concept. Spry. Good, here. Now, if she went past that one, dropped this to pick it up, ah, no, 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 I'd get right on her. Now, she likes, she likes this one. She likes this one too, feathered dummies. So, just a little switching drill that we're gonna work on with her. Now, she hasn't made a mistake yet. Spry. Good. Good, right here. Good. Spry, spry. Good. Right here, good. So she hasn't really made a mistake, which is good. Spry. Good. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Good, dead, dead. Ah, no, 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 no. Sit down. So we're not gonna, really not a chance to fix her on it, on that right there but we'll continue to do that in the future. That's about it. I'm gonna be done with these guys right now. Some things accomplished, nothing earth shattering. Real nice job right here.
Good. Good. Sit. 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 Heel. Sit, Ellie. Ellie, come here. Ellie, come here. Ellie, come here. Come here. Sit. Right back over where she came from. Sit. Sit. So sometimes this, doing stuff like this is good for these dogs as well. Yeah. Sit. So Ellie and Spry have to understand, it's not my turn. Sit. This would be a nice one heel. This would be a nice one for her to go out and come pack. A very simple retrieve, really not a lot to learn on the retrieve, but it's getting past these other dogs with something in her mouth. Good. Catches the wind, good. Right here. Hold. Hold, very nice. Nice control. Good dog. Very good, sit up. Sit up, good, very good. Dead, can't ask for much more than that, very nice. So, I'm gonna put, we're gonna go back, sit. We'll put these dogs up, and then we're gonna take Bella. Actually, you know what, I think we're gonna be done. It's kinda cold out, I see Ben's little hands are getting cold. So, uh, that's good enough. Ease back into this week. We've got plenty of time. Um, we've got plenty of things that, to work on. Um, it's no rush. I love, I love the change we're seeing with her uh, working with other dogs. Now, to go back, we've got a couple hundred yards to go back. I'm gonna see where our, what our heel work looks like. These are sloppy conditions. Usually some of the stuff that usually gets a little bit in the way of her focused heel, heel. So, the session's not done. We've got an opportunity to get something out of it. Ellie heel. Ellie heel. Spry heel. We've got an opportunity to get some value out of simply going back. This is one of those, this is, I did a Instagram story on it. This is a good opportunity for this. So we just got done working in this area, kind of a new area, newer. Three dummies, heel. And so this is a way to get something heel out of another opportunity to get something valuable without taking a whole lot of time to set up. So we're out here already and we're gonna go back to the house. Well, before we go back, let's dump a few dummies. Work on good control heel work back. And right before we get back, we'll send them back on these, on these dummies. So we get a nice, a nice extra repetition without taking much, any time to set it up because we were already out there. We're just getting an extra bang for our buck at the end. Now, if one of my dogs was struggling to go back to the same spot, I put three dummies out. I might send one dog for all three and let the other two watch. I might send one dog for each dummy. I might, you can mix it up whatever you, whatever you're going to get the most value out of. Another thing that we can do here is we can build a diversion in. So let's do that. And because we're going to do Bella, we'll send her on the first retrieve here. Sit, sit, Bella, Bella heel, Bella heel, heel. Now, because it's Bella, and it's the first time we've really done a diversion, I'm gonna make it pretty easy for her. It's gonna go the opposite direction. Watch, 
no heel. That no heel is very important. You gotta deselect that. Then we're gonna take a step forward, heel. Bella. And send her out on the long one. Now, I'm real happy with her because right before I sent her, I thought twice about it. There she catches, touches scent. Good, come on, come on. And good for her for running past the two feathered dummies. She picked up the one that was the least exciting. Right here, now make sure she comes back and doesn't go to that dummy. Here, right here, right here, right here. Hold, good dog, good dog. Very good, very good, dead, dead, sit. So I'm real happy with her. Ha, 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 ha. This is where that control comes in because right now there's a dummy right there. And so we've worked real hard on when she comes back in, we don't just let her go free and run wild. This is why, like we didn't even talk about it back when we were doing it. We get them circled back in because if we just let her free spin up with excitement after delivering one dummy, that one right there, she knows is there. And they're gonna run out and pick that one up. And you're gonna go, gal, now I don't have control. We gotta bring them back in under control. We leave that one, that's a diversion. That's, I'll pick that one up myself. What I'm glad with her was, I actually think she ran past both the scented feather dump, you know, the ones that have more scent, the ones that have more reward clearly to the dogs. You saw Spry, she, why pick this thing up when there's one right there with feathers? So she ran past, she probably saw this one picked it up and came through. And I don't think for a second she didn't smell the other ones, but good on her for not switching, especially because we have not put a lot of drills in with her to make sure that she does. So that was real nice. Sit. Now, sit. Let's add a little bit, build off of what we did earlier today. No, leave it. So we're gonna deselect that dummy. And now, sit down. This will be very interesting. Um, we just kind of warmed her up to the idea of dogs running past and making retrieves. This one's out there a little bit more, a little bit more tempting. Spry. S sit. 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 Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Good. Good. Very nice. Very good. Come on. She's gonna, now she's gonna go past her and she's gonna come right back. And we saw her get up, but she resisted that temptation. When I talked about the control part, that's what we need. That's what we didn't have when she saw a pheasant the other day. And so we need to be able to slowly add distractions up to that level. Dead. Now, Bella's got a little bit of history chasing birds. And she thinks it's a lot of fun. And so there's no question that she's got enough drive. It's where she have enough control to resist that temptation. And we gotta build up to that. She's not there yet. Another time, another opportunity here. Ellie. S sit down. Sit down. Good. Good. Ellie's got the last one. Again, she kind of goes through it. She should get into the scent cone in here somewhere, touch scent. Good. Good. Got to learn to trust that nose. Deep, too deep. Let her figure it out, let her work it out. Good. Here's the other chance for Bella. Very good. Dead. Sit. Sit. And then like I said, this diversion over here that we threw, that was Bella's first chance at it. We'll continue to build that in. We gotta start building that in more often. I just gotta remember to do it is all. Good. 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 Very good. Heel. Spry.
Spry heel. Sit down. Spry. Spry heel. Spry heel. Ellie heel. And now we can bring him in. So we got a really nice way to end that session. So we got a little bit more out of it. We got a little bit more for everybody and I think that was more value. Um, real nice way to start the week. So now we continue momentum as we go into it. So good session. I'm damned if I do And I'm damned